everybody. How we doing? Oh my god. Ah, oh, can't see. There we go. All right. Hello. Hello, hello. How are we doing? Happy. No, it's not Friday. It's Thursday. Today is Thursday. Hello, Claire. How are you doing? Happy Thursday. What am I doing? I was looking at sketches while I was killing time. This is not mine. I didn't draw that. I was just curious how other people were drawing until much, frankly. It's nice to watch other people draw. Oh my god, it's like hot. My VR headset seems loose. They did like a little splatter down here for dirt. It's for dirt. These the people have such good control. Like, look at this face. That this person drew. I'm not even sure how they did this. It's really impressive, honestly. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. Oh yes, yes, I, I particularly wanted to look at the snow because I actually wanted to draw some snow thing today. I didn't really know what to draw. I know, it is impressive. That one was, I don't know, hold on. Uh, Suk VR art. That's what it was, it was just looking. Like if you click on the sketches, they will load. Or like have a time lapse of people painting them, which is pretty neat. It's just, it's just neat to watch how other people do stuff, frankly, in VR. Like, you see each stroke they make. A lot of people do stylize things like this, which is kind of what the medium is for, and then they block it in. I've seen a few of them that block it in like that, and it's very interesting. But a lot of people do, like, very, like, cel-shaded, stylized things like this, which is, you know, I think adept for the medium. Anyway, no, I was looking at, uh, I was looking, uh, just looking at stuff because I was curious. How do I change my, my background again? No, because today, well, honestly, I was very inspired by the snow that we got last night. It had been a long, it had been a long time. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, figure out with my setting. Is it no? Is it labs? Maybe it's labs. I don't know. I think I just clicked that. Oh, and I think it's over here, actually. I was very inspired by the snow. And so I wanted to draw something snow-related. Um, but also, I didn't really have a particular, uh... It's illustrative. Okay, we'll go in the void. We'll go in the white void. I didn't really have a particular topic for, uh, what I wanted to draw today. So, today it's going to be another collaborative effort, because I like collaborating on art. My god, I can't breathe with the mask. Oh, I need some water. Um, so, today the idea was... Sorry, I needed some water. Today the idea was, uh, I'm going to do something snow-related, but I don't know what yet. So I'm going to ask you guys, uh, in honor of, there's an event this weekend called Global Game Jam. Which is basically a game jam where people all around the world participate uh, and make games simultaneously. And that started actually Wednesday, well yesterday then, but my official jam starts tomorrow. And the theme for that is uh, lost and found. So let's brainstorm, I think, things that relate to lost and found. And it doesn't have to be initially snow related. I don't really care. I, I'll do whatever, what, <laughs> honestly. But I wanted to think about stuff related to that theme. All right, one more sip of water. Maybe an igloo. Igloo would be good. Okay, let's go. That's a bit cool. There we go. I'm gonna turn up the music just a little bit. Penguins, penguins in an igloo. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can come up with a story about these penguins and this igloo. I saw someone draw an aurora borealis. You find them adorable. Okay, Claire, I will allow that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's just it's pretty funny. Um, let's add a little bit of color already in here. Honestly, this is smid. There we go. A little bit of cool color. Icy. 
All right. The guy from Rudolph in the red nose. Are you talking about the uh, the abominable snowman? I have my light pen. Like I always write things down. So we got igloo. Penguin, abominable, bah, mid, mid I don't know, mid bull. I know what I know what I wrote. Oh, well, okay, okay. I'm gonna put either maybe an Arctic fox, because I like Arctic foxes a lot. One of my favorite animals. I have an idea. All right. So what I have, my idea, is that we got like an igloo, right? Okay. We got our igloo or whatever. And maybe the igloo is honestly just in the background. I don't really know. <laughs> it might not. His name Bumbles? His name is Bumble? I didn't know Bumble that was his name. We have our we have our igloo. And Hold on, I'm thinking. There's two possibilities here. One, we have the igloo, and then we got like an Aurora Borealis going over here. We got like a penguin sitting up here. And we got a little snow fox down here with some snow on him, and he's like in the snow. And you're like, hmm. Or the whole thing is an igloo, whole setting, and then the, there's an Aurora Borealis inside of the igloo, and the penguin's just chilling in here like Club Penguin. <laughs> And the snow fox is still in a pile of snow. <laughs> I just like him being underneath the snow. No, I'm just gonna have the north sky be normal. I might make the igloo bigger as we go, but for now I'm just not. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is the idea so far. Somebody here has been found. You look club penguin. Club penguin is okay. I did. We'll try to put the abominable snowman also somewhere maybe he's actually inside the igloo i don't know let's see what we got let's put down our snow forgot about club penguin how could you forget about club penguin the masterpiece that was club penguin so we do have a snow thing what's gonna be good for snow on the ground just like our base floor Yeah, that'll be good. And I can add some. Let's just add a lot of snow here. There we go. Here's our backdrop. It was a classic. It was indeed a classic. I might, like, you know what, there's something, one of the diverse, uh, Global Game Jam has a lot of diversifiers, right? And basically that just means it's stuff to, stuff you can add in to spice up your game and just make it fancier, right? Well, one of the diversifiers is, uh, I I'm gonna try, I need to practice, is what's called pointillism. And I didn't know, I don't know, I didn't know what pointillism was, so I had to look it up. And it's like an old art style where you drew everything in, uh, in dots. Like, it's like stipple, but like, worse. I don't even know how I could do it. Like, you, you make art by doing a bunch of dots. Like this uh, on the on the canvas, and it looks really neat. Honestly, it looks like a it, it's like a I want to do it because it seems similar to like a style that I would like to try out right now. But oh my god, I considered trying to do pointillism for today, so I might throw in a little bit of that every now and then. I don't really know how to do it. Try and figure out how to add dimension to this uh, snow right now, but I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, from art class, see, like, I was never taught that in art class, so I didn't know about it <laughs> until literally yesterday when I looked it up. <laughs> How do I want to make, indicate this snow glue? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make a darker, big thing. Hmm. 
What's the difference between these? I do not know right now. I always remember the famous one with all the people with umbrellas. That is true. That was one of the pointillism ones. Like, I was never told that was explicitly pointillism. At least I don't remember being told that. So I just, I didn't know. And I was like, oh, I recognize that painting. I know I was told about that painting in some class in my life. What class? I don't know. I really don't know. I really did not have, like, an art education. Like, I've had, I've, I've taken a very small number of actual art classes in my life. <laughs> Let's see. Which would probably surprise people, honestly. Is that, God, how do you make, oh. Can never remember, a sunny afternoon on the island of La Grande. It's probably that one. I actually didn't look at the title when I was looking yesterday, but it's most likely that one. Hold on, I have a guide. I can make an igloo. Here's my sphere. What color do I use? There we go. There we go. Okay, here's that. And we got that, and I'm gonna have like this little section come out. No, a little bit less. There we go, add some dimension to that now. Let's find a brush for that. Like the blue whites now. Yeah, I don't wanna use pure white. I've talked about this before, but you just, you just don't use pure white. And even a book I was reading, this is part of me trying to find my inspiration right now. I'm reading a book called by, uh, an artist named John Howe. It's a John and an H-O-W-E. He's a fantasy illustrator and his book is like the fantasy workshop or I think it is what it is. And uh, it's pretty neat. He also talks about like if you, you're gonna, even when, cause you're working on white paper and you have stuff that's white, you still wanna add a little bit of a just a little bit of a light wash over that paper so so because the white pure white is gonna bleach your artwork doesn't doesn't matter if the object is white itself you don't want to use pure white because uh, that just does it's not good for the colors honestly and though the presentation of your colors The Johnny, it's probably that one, yeah. It's a good book, honestly. I'm really enjoying it. I've had it for a long time, but I just haven't read it till recently because, you know, I probably was a stubborn child and artist and really didn't feel like reading an art book at my time. But it's really funny how much I, like, I identify with him, though. <laughs> like, he, in, the, in his introduction, he was like, yep, having pictures and books is very key. And he's like, mm, uh, yeah, I mostly just buy <laughs> Like nowadays, I just buy pictures, but mostly I just I buy books, but you know, mostly for the pictures, so they can be in whatever language they want. And I'm like, you know what? That's true. I also buy books for the pictures. <laughs> at this point in my life, I like to look at the references and build my mental library. Honestly, is really fun. <laughs> I haven't actually read, read a book, like I don't know, like a novel in a very in a while. It's been a hot second. And I know I'm talking to a bunch of librarians when I say this, but you know what? It's just the truth. This is just my truth. I love picture books. My aunt got me this book for Christmas. She got me two of them. I don't know if I've talked about it before. But one of them was this book of insects. And it's like, I can't, I don't remember. It's a, I think Micro was maybe in the title, but frankly, I don't, I don't remember. But literally, it's like this really colorful book of like abnormal in close-ups of insects. And it's just so cool as like a reference. Some really interesting bugs, but it, well, nature is weird. John Howard also has this idea that he talks about and like has an artist, you know, we draw a lot. I've seen multiple artists talk about this. 
but you know we draw a lot from nature because nature's really weird and like if you really dig into it there's some weird <laughs> freaky things out there and you're like mm, i don't really i don't I'm not really sure what this is <laughs> like i didn't know this existed it's kind of like very abnormal to exist stuff gets freaky no i don't like that and anyway <laughs> he um but yeah, and he was like talking about like, you know, use nature as an in, uh, inspiration, but then you also can never draw it quite right. And that's super frustrating because you want to draw it right because it's really pretty, but then you just can't do it. And I understand I struggle really badly. <laughs> it's like half of my, I guess it's half of my drive as an artist is trying to replicate nature, but you just can't which is something I've been talking with a friend of mine who also struggles with like wanting to replicate nature, but it's too damn, per it's too darn perfect. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just too darn perfect to replicate. Bugs scare you? You know what, I could understand that. There's some really scary bugs out there. But it's okay, you don't gotta be scared of them. At least most, uh, some of them. Other ones I'd be, I'd be afraid of, honestly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. <laughs> the igloo's looking great. No, I'm glad. Glad you like the igloo. I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight from the snow on it. I actually like that what that person did in the other one. They used the splatter, I think. Yeah, no, that's no, that's it has it. Here it is. Add a little bit of variety in here. Get a little bit. I also watched there was a sketch and somebody did like a a really clean line drawing of like some buildings and I was I couldn't understand how he did that honestly. It was really odd. I was like maybe he used the straighten tool, but it was just so perfect and like tilt brush. It was, it was weird. It was fascinating. Let's put that there we go. Got some snow. Okay, we got some snow. It's all good. All right, let's draw. Gotta get the penguin. Gotta get the penguin. Penguin's gonna be... You know what, actually, I think the penguin's gonna be coming down this hill over here. So I'm gonna make it bigger back here. Gonna be sliding down it. A little bit, yeah, bigger backdrop. Over here, I'll probably add some fog and stuff. I can barely draw a straight line. I don't think I could ever draw one in the air. Oh, I can't draw a straight line in the air. Do you see these lines on the igloo? <laughs> don't don't doubt yourself too early. It's okay. I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> it's, look, most people can't draw a straight line. I can't even draw a straight line. Drawing a straight line does not prove your worth as an artist. <laughs> I think straight lines are overrated. And I say that just because I can't draw them, but like frankly, like you got a different skill set and that's okay. Is this what I want? Okay, but how am I gonna draw it? Well this how where is this? a great invention that is true i don't know i don't know what people did before rulers maybe they didn't draw straight lines and nobody cared about drawing straight lines when they did it the painstaking way i don't know i don't know what people did before rulers thinking about what people did before certain inventions is like a it's a fun pastime like thought exercise for me i just find it I just find it interesting to imagine, you know? <laughs> like, like what, what did people do? 
What, what did, how did people think about stuff? I can't, the only example I... Mm, you know, maybe I will talk about it because we had a stream. You know what? I'm going to talk about it. All right. So the only example I can think of is that it's going to go into like a little bit of a women's health subject. But like when women's time of the month came and like, you know, the 1800s and whatever, what did they do? Like, and I decided to bring this up because we actually played a game on the, on the Twitch for a while ago. And it was about, um... It was a game called Tampon Run, and it was the whole game was literally about why are we so afraid to talk about this natural subject, which is why I decided to talk about it <laughs> after a little moment's question, and then I was like, mm, no, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> but that's something I think about often. A lot of laundry. <laughs> Can't imagine not having your phone. That is true. Like, I would love to not be dependent on my phone, but I absolutely am dependent on my phone. Like, mm, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with with myself. I don't like what I've done with this penguin, not gonna lie. Oh my god. Just wanna, just let me delete this one. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah, I don't like what I did with the penguin, that's fine. I'm a lot of one. Oh, okay, I'm gonna waste the penguin. Did not, ugh, oh, did not enjoy that style. Let me try something else. What else do I want? I do sometimes wonder, like, you know, the, I mean, I, so I can actually ask my parents what life was like before cell phones. They'll tell me stories and, and things about when the cell phone, they first got their cell phones. It's pretty entertaining to listen to. One story they told me was, um, the Bye Bye Penguin. Yeah. I, he slid, <laughs> he'd slide on his belly, but I don't like the way I drew him, so, uh, go with something else. The one story my parents told me was, uh, when they first got their cell phones, they went to the grocery store and they went to two separate aisles and and called each other. <laughs> and it's like, I think my mom was like, what? I was like, I'm in aisle two. And we're like, where are you? And my dad was like, I'm in aisle three. And they were like, oh, <laughs> it's, like, it's really funny to think about. Like, that's how people reacted during like when cell phones came out. And I, I take mine for granted. It's just, it's very, it's a very interesting thought. <laughs> all right, he's all selected. We need to give him more of a belly. There we go, and then I'll have like a head over here. I don't know how penguin heads work. This is what happens when you don't draw with a reference, but I didn't really feel like it. This is a good way to use a phone. <laughs> Oh Lord. Is my is my pain on a Sounds like a bird. You know what I do miss though? I miss from Scope VR being able to just paint like other colors onto the color I'm here. Uh, I know Tilt today actually went, I don't know when actually when the post was, but there was a post on Steam today that Tilt Brush went um, open source today, which is pretty neat. So I, I'd be interested to see what like types of tools technical artists uh, develop now that it's open source. I would definitely really appreciate a tool that lets me paint multiple colors on the one surface if that's possible, kind of like Scope VR. I do enjoy that possibility of being able to do that. So it was like my one of my favorite things on that application. Like I like I want to like mix the brushes that I have here with like I guess the usability. Oh, there's a rainbow tool. Yeah. I can't believe you saw that as I was, uh, it was a rainbow, as I was flipping through. Get this type of rainbow. But yeah, I would love to mix like the the brushes, the brush style tilt brush with the usability of Sculpt VR. 
That, that, that would be the perfect art application, I think, for painting, in my opinion. Because Scope VR is really nice. I do like its geometry for this guy. And I, oh, the layers. The layers were king. I missed the layers. <laughs> what is that? What is this circle? What is that? What are you doing here? What are you? Did I make? What are you? Oh my god, it left. I don't know what that was. <laughs> the rainbow is cute. Maybe if I try to add a rainbow or something, I don't know. Oh, what was I doing? That's not my brush tool. Okay, go away. Let me see. Let's see. No, I can be a little bit whiter. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, you know what? He's just going to be on the snow anyway, so I don't need to actually do his underbelly. He's going to go over here. There we go. He's a big penguin. <laughs> so make him a little smaller. There we go. He's like, wee! There he is. And I'm going to group that. There we go. There's a penguin. I'll draw another one up here hanging out. Something wanted in on something did want it on this drawing. I don't know what that was. It's kinda weird, honestly. I think in my fog. I'm gonna try to add some uh dimension to this. I also wish I had an opacity brush. I don't know if, I don't remember if Scope VR had opacity also. Oh, that's not what I want. Can I remember? Maybe it's definitely not splatter. But what I do need splatter for is a little bit of snow kicking up behind him. There he goes. You get another penguin up here, they'll just hang out. And you're like, whoop! What? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get a penguin up here. Penguin head. There we go. He's having a great time. He's having a good time. Penguins living his best life. Whoop, this one's ready to go. It's gonna give him some feet. Some happy feet. I'm gonna make this one the one with like that penguin with the eyebrows. It's like an emperor penguin. There we go. <laughs> Wait, there we go, there we go. <laughs> He's ready to go. Perfect, okay, he's great. <laughs> Very regal, look at this boy. Look at this penguin boy. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of chest cause his chest is actually, you can see it. So let's go with the marker. Whoop. Very difficult to paint on top of this. this is why I wish I could just paint. Why I wish I could just paint uh the texture onto the thing. I need this to be done. Maybe I'll figure out a code so I can do it myself. It's driving me nuts. I've been exposed to it and I want it so badly now. <laughs> Does that look dumb? It kind of looks dumb. I don't like it. Actually, I don't like it. We're just gonna deal with this. Yeah, I'll remind you the Surf's Up Penguin. Wow, I forgot about that movie. I don't even know if I ever watched it, but I know I watch videos trying to analyze it. 
That was like a repressed memory right there. Should I draw the kahuna mech? I'm gonna draw the kahuna necklace on him. Let me get colors for that. I feel, I don't know what the necklace was, but I'm pretty sure it's probably something along the lines of this. This is what I think traditional kahuna, kahuna necklaces look like. At least this is what my memory tells me that they look like. There we go. There he is. He's hanging out here. All right, gotta go down. They're having a good time up there. All right. Now I need a little Arctic Fox. It's gotta be in the snow somewhere. Let's make this a little bit darker. I'm gonna have him be over here. A little bit hidden off to the side. Oh, let's see, what to do? What to do with him? Let's have him, uh, where's the snow? Snow is like here. Also is too right. I think Arctic foxes are like, oh my god, hold on, I can't see that. I actually cannot see it. Oh, it's too white! Hold on, I'm trying to get a good mix. Because, like, you know, obviously I want him to blend in here, but, like, I want to be able to see him, too. So it's a little balance of colors. Maybe there's a good way to do this. I want to draw him over here first, and then I'll change up his colors. I need a little, f a little face. Little face and these like boop. Boop. This is face. And then he's just hanging out like hello. He's like hello. I'm gonna have a tail back here. Let's see, hold on, it's a little bit difficult. Trying to get the silhouette to be good is what is what I'm doing. There we go. All right, we got this little fox. I'm headed out. Go, right, Claire. Have a good evening. Have a good Thursday night. Hope it treats you well. Thanks for stopping by. Where is his nose? It's right here. No, it's not dark enough. There we go. There we go. Look at him. He's adorable. The, the little tiny claws. Literally, like if you go to the zoo and there's like they have an Arctic fox exhibit and it's the cutest. Oh my god, they're the cutest little things. And I'll also sit around all day waiting for the wolves to like wake up. Because <laughs> the wolves are always asleep when I go. But I am a patient person when it comes to wolves. I will wait. Let's see, just put him in the snow. Let's put him. Let's put him over here. He's hanging out. Oh, that's not bad. There we go. Let me get some splatter going. He's gonna have. Gonna have some like on his snout. I know you can't really see it, but that's okay. I'll add in a little bit of a different color to it. Too much of a different color. Too much blue. 
Still too much blue. Hold on. There we go. A little bit of that. A little bit of another one. Here he is. There we go. Maybe I will change the color of... The snow? Question mark. This is a lot. This is some warm snow. I think it's too white. But I also don't like this now. Now that I have seen it, I do not like it. Maybe this one. Wait, that's not bad. That's some good snow. He needs a name? What should we name them? What should we name him? This little, this little bundle. It's gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of detail. I wonder what brush people use to get like the really fine lines. Maybe this one. There we go. Mm, okay. I'm gonna add a little bit. Foxes have whiskers, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, adding a little fur like this is nice. Just a touch of fur. Makes him at least looks furry. It's a fine line. What, the fur or the whiskers? There we go. Add some over here. Adorable. You want to pet him? Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna make him a little bit more bluer because he's pretty. Mm, he's pretty. He's pretty pink. I don't really do it. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, he can be a little maybe he could be this color maybe it's okay I will think about it but this snow needs to not be this color all right there we go all right looking good so far looking good Alright, let me see. I gotta figure out how to draw the abominable snowman now. Um. Let me see. I will draw him. Well, he's gonna have a chair. I'm gonna make him a chair. I'm gonna draw the chair right here, just so I can have the igloo as a reference. 
Bumble. And we are indeed going to draw Bumble from how I remember him in whatever capacity that is. The only chair I can think of off the top of my head is like a beach chair. I mean, there's like this type of chair too, like a metal chair. But I don't want to draw that. That doesn't seem fun. So I'm going to try to draw some type of a beach chair. He's in the wrong climate. <laughs> I frankly don't know what it looks like though, so... How do I draw a beach chair? What does that look like? It's like a... It's got like a dip. You do that, and then they do that. And I think they go down in front. And back. No, I don't think, I think they just kind of go back. Like this. And then you sit in it. He could be sunbathing. He could be sunbathing. This is not a chair. How do I draw a chair? How do I draw a beach chair? I don't remember. Maybe it's like a really long stick and then a stick and then there's like at the end here and then this goes this way. Is this what they look like? And then like you fold it and like they just fold up like that. That could be what they look like. I don't remember. Is this what beach chairs look like? They quarantined for too long. <laughs> I need to just have... Kind of look like a sled. He could always be laying on a towel. I might do the towel. I'm not convinced this is what it'd be to. I like the towel better. All right. <laughs> Let's give him a towel. Let's give him a warm colored towel. Probably like a, probably like a, probably like a, a red, some type of red. There we go. He's hanging out. He's good. And they do have like a cloth sitting in the middle. So the good thing was that it was on to something, but I like the towel better. All right. Oh, I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> let me get, let me get, let me get my tapered marker. Let's see, let's see. His head's gonna be like here, right? His body. The arms will go like that. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna go back to... It's kinda like a loaf. <laughs> I don't know, it's too much torso. There we go. That's a torso. <laughs> this feels like strangely wrong. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> like a big white fuzzy bear. That's true, it is a big white fuzzy bear. There we go, and then his face is going to be like here. And then I'm going to take the color from the penguins. Let's see. This feels a little weird, I'm not going to lie. It's like an uncanny valley type of a deal. <laughs> Okay, this is that, and then I need the shiny one. That's not shiny. Diamond. No, it's not. It's not new enough. This shiny. Oh uh, no! Hold on. 
Maybe we'll use the diamond one. Maybe I will just do the shiny. It's weird how like this doesn't look shiny. Hold on. Maybe I don't have a light source. I think that's what it is. I didn't give myself a light source. Which is why some things are looking off. Maybe it's the illustrated background. That makes sense. That's okay. I don't want to add a light source and then like, you know, ruin everything for myself. So I'm going to do this one. We got that. And then add a little bit of a streak. Little lines. I think I'm gonna go with the highlighter instead. There we go. Look at this man! <laughs> all right, all right. Add some fur on him. It's gonna have to be really fuzzy to make this work. Oh, it's gonna be so much fur. There we go. Okay, this one is face. Let's get this one going. Trying to use the lines to give direction to the form. Looks like a weird Santa, I'm not gonna lie. It really is a little disturbing. <laughs> I think I need to make his body white. I think I'll change that after I'm done with the fur. Or less of like, you know, this color. I think that's the problem here. You know the detail? Oh, I'm glad you do. There's that little furry mess. Okay, I gotta keep going. I should give him some shorts. Let me give him some, like, uh, shorts of some kind. I'm gonna make them yellow. Let's see, what type of shorts do I give him? I'm gonna give him some board. No, I want the type of yellow. It's too yellow. There we go. At least it's a little bit better now. All right, he is closed. I feel better. <laughs> I 
I think it was the lack of clothes that was bothering me. So much fur. Oh, part is actually literally just like tedious patience. <laughs> Maybe sometimes the amount of detail is necessary. There's a thing between like necessary to over detailing, and this is one of those necessary times that I don't really have a shortcut for. Look at God. Boots of hairy legs. There we go. He looks much more comfortable with pants on. Modesty is key. You're right, you're right. Everything in a moderation. I've done so many abominable snowmans this weekend. Like, we had a character, I made a date, went to a dating sim with some club members of mine, and we also had an abominable snowman <laughs> in our game. Fill that in a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's straw! Straw, and I gotta fix my setup. Let's add some, like, little suns. What's a, what's a good beachy pattern besides sun? I feel like sun is a little overdone. There we go. Oh, sorry, I need some water really quick. Ah. Alright. Where am I? I'm over here. Let me see, maybe I'll draw. Maybe I'll draw some suns. Wanna add a little detail to, uh. Nope, not that color. Do you think it should be white? Nope, not that color. There we go. All right, another one over here. I wouldn't come up with this on my own. Like, just have an abominable snowman sun tanning in the middle of the Arctic. Like, I would have gotten probably around this far, but I would not have put him up in a good position. Which is why I really do enjoy create, like, creatively making art with other people. A lot of other people bring some good ideas to the table that I'm just, I just don't think about, honestly. But it also helps me to remember to ask these types of questions. And I'm like, what's the opposite? What if I had him doing that? I'm like, well, that's pretty funny, pretty neat. Add some character to the painting. This is what he does in the summer months when he has sunlight. The rest of the, have you ever seen, there's like this vine I saw one time and it's about like this person in Sweden. Or maybe not Sweden, but somewhere that doesn't get sun for like, a couple months out of a year and he was like he was really upset 
of uh, he was just basically uh, calling out people who complain about be having be like early mornings and like sleeping through the sun because he has to take fish oil uh for some of the years because he doesn't get enough sun i just i don't know why i just you know the just the things we take for granted clubbing is really fun there we go his pants all stylized look at him he's hanging out He's cute. I'm gonna add some ruffles to uh, his towel just for the fun of it. Oh my god. I'm bending down to look at him. It's like really <laughs> it's exhausting. Cause I can't just like have it be up. I gotta like look over. And that's not easy with the headset. No, I actually think having this bear with him like that is fine. Okay, let's uh, flush out. Vine is where it at. Let's flush out the background a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of just general smoke. Try to add some like depth. And things. Okay, and then in the sky, I was like putting the word Borealis. I think I saw somebody do it in one of the sketches and I think they used the highlighter. No, soft highlighter, maybe not. Maybe they used the smoke. It seems unlikely. They used something for it to do an Aurora Borealis and it looked real nice. Oh my God, that's too bright, it's too much. Ooh. Could have given him fur like this and it'd be much more effective. But I didn't do it. I forgot I have coarse bristles. Let's add a little bit underneath. A little bit. Add some like secondary fur. Balance it out. A little bit of extra detail. There we go, just a little bit. There we go, okay. Add it snow. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, gotta figure out what to do for Aurora Borealis. What do I do for that? I don't think it's gonna be disco. I never get the used comet. Oh, it's a ni neat one. I need to add some variation to the snow, actually. Let me get Different colors I added over here. Be it very purple. I want it to be lighter. There we go. Add some light patches of snow every some places. Some variation, just a bit. Some on the mountain here. Some like texture variations, just to break it up slightly. Oh, I was gonna add a fire actually. I was gonna add a little campfire. go a little bit of variation and some texture to the whole thing yeah the layers do help add some life to him he's got a lot of life on his own just kind of hanging out there though <laughs> okay let me see i'm gonna add a fire there we go it's gonna have a little fire hanging out over here Oh god, you can't see it. Let me add some wood. 
So I like the song a lot. Does this look like a log? Logs. I okay. So my grandma bought a book, right? And the, it's it was a book. It's called The Lost Ways, and it's something about like how pioneers and people used to do things. And I had seen an ad for this also on my laptop, my YouTube. Of course, I didn't know she bought the book because then I saw it on the cable and I was like, mm, why have I seen this before? But anyway, <laughs> um, there was, a, there was a, one of the pages talks about, we have it now, so I'll just kind of like, you know, <laughs> look at it. But one of the pages talks about this concept of like a self-lighting vlog. And the whole idea of the self-lighting log is that you would have your fire pit and then you'd have two, I'm going to demonstrate, you'd have two like contraptions or whatever, right? That have more logs on and they'd be closer. So actually they'd be more like, more like this and like that. Okay. They, it, it'd be like it'd be like this and then you have logs on them and then you have like a like a little stick or whatever right here and then as I guess like as this burns and then maybe the edge burns like they would some they would there's there's a way that they would just kind of keep they keep tumbling in on their own and keeping the fire I get lit all night um, as long as you had enough logs, that way you could have a lit fire all night without, uh, you know, having to wake up every couple hours to replenish it. It was very interesting. It's like the first page in this book. So, you know, we have this book now. So I, I, find, I find some of the concepts interesting from a design point of just to add to my own personal library in my head some like a wood texture to this make it look like it's a log log it's very interesting though I haven't read much of the other book fire There we go. We got some fire. Well, that's a lot of embers. That must just really go. <laughs> Dang, I wish I could have like these customs. <laughs> like I wish I could. What you never would have thought of what the uh, the log thing or adding lines to the logs. I wish I could have these custom brushes and sculpt VR. It would be the perfect program. I need them to marry each other. God, it's gonna be something I'm gonna have to develop at this point. <laughs> oh, it looks like such a good fire. He's hanging out. Let's have him be cooking a fish. He'd be cooking a fish on it. No, I did not want the fire. I would like the log. There we go. There's the fish. So you gotta stick. Stick, stick. This, this is why the fox is here. The fox is like, oh, the penguins are coming for the fish too. <laughs> I could make these straight, but uh, I don't want to. Let's make it a little bit of a darker blue. Let's make it like a trout. Blue fish. There we go. Uh, 
Had some skills. Nope. Nope. Need a different brush. Maybe this one. A little bit, some few scales. Add a little bit of texture here. Oh god, ow. I think it's too bright though, hold on. There we go. <laughs> write, a, write an email, ask him and the partner together. Well, that's an interesting idea. I wonder if that would actually work. I don't know. I mean, Tilbush is open source now, so I don't know if Tilbush is actually going to be officially, what Google is going to be officially developing for Tilbush at this point. I'm oh, the make believe. It's pain, time the cradles put vanity. I can't believe the song doesn't have any copyright. It's so good. It's such a good song. Mm, you know what? I'm not a fan of the scales. I need to do something else. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. Maybe if I, uh... Classic... Classic indicator of scales. Go. Oh, I'd like a s I'm not gonna worry. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna worry about a fin. I'm gonna put it over there and over there. And there we go. We're not really concerned about it being seen. Okay, great. Digging music. It's good. We. I am streaming. No copyright sounds over on tw from Twitch because it's no copyright music and I appreciate it and this one is cradles by suburban I don't I've listened to it so much that I don't really need to look at it add some uh, texture to the rock here There we go, I just uh, added some lines for to doing some thing. I don't know if this is helping. I don't think it's helping. No, I don't like it. The box is fine. Alright, we got our fish. We got our penguins. Alright, I got now I gotta actually do the Aurora Borealis. Figure out how to do that. Oh I don't think it's gonna be soft highlighter. I feel like a green, maybe? Hold on. I don't have my color wheel. I got a lot of blues and I got the red, so maybe... What's the other triad? Oh my god. What's this one? This one? This one? This? This? This and this? So maybe this, this, and this? Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what colors. All right, because I think I've used I've used this general color and then I've used these down here, so maybe something in the middle will work. As a triad. Oh my god! What do I do still? What what is the what is chromatic way? I did that earlier and it's way too much. Uh, stream is always fun. Let me see. Oh, uh, I don't know. Not sure. Disco, why are you like that? Oh, there's no color. There's no light here. That's why. I know I got... Light's just too much. I would also love the ability to dim the light 
how bright certain brushes are. That would be a great upgrade also. Yeah, it's just not, it's not what I want. It's just too bright. How do I not make it this bright? Uh, okay. Well, maybe the other brush was red velvet ink, probably. I do not know. No. Dots is neat, but it's not what I want. I'm at a loss in how to make this Aurora Borealis. Like someone used a real nice brush. I'm gonna like save this and I'm gonna load it, that other brush, and I'm gonna figure out what they used. Alright, hold on. Let me load up a sketch since I just saved my. Which one was it? It was. One of these has one it in it. Is it that? It wasn't this one. Isn't this one? Isn't this one? Which one had it? It wasn't that one. Maybe it was the one with the deer. Maybe it was the deer. I'm gonna load up the deer again. Let's create my own program. That would be a feat. Is it the deer? It's not the deer. They used... If I swear, their fog looks like... looks uh... Like not as bright as mine. I feel like I'm missing something with uh... I feel like I'm missing something. Like my fog... I mean, let me like take their smoke. Okay, they use smoke. Why is this smoke so? Is this? Oh, it's because it's blacker. Oh. So if I make the smoke darker, okay, I'll get less color. That's a that's an idea. Let me look up something else. Uh, what's up with the snowman? The snowman did not have it. I didn't go this far. Oh, uh, I don't think it was the- where did it go? No, it wasn't that one. Didn't look at that one. It was not that one. Maybe it was this one. Maybe it was this one. Oh, it was this one. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's fine. Alright, hold on, where are they? Oh, there they are. Well, let's see. I like what they did with the line, the swirl, and the swirl. Okay, they- oh, that's what they did. So they did- what did they do? They did a soft highlighter. Also darker color. Okay, so if you have a darker color, you can get a pretty nice Aurora Borealis look. What else did they do up here? That's Ember's. Is that part of the, uh... Is this, what is this one? Oh, they did, they figured out how to use the Neon Pulse one. Pretty well, actually. Okay, so yeah, I can use this. Let's load, let's go back to our sketch now. <laughs> the wolf one is very great, where is our sketch? There it is. Oh, it's being painted right now. We can watch me paint all this fur on the leg. There we go. Okay. So let's see. So if I make it darker, I'm gonna go back to the green. I'm gonna go to the green. So if I make the if I make the smoke darker, it won't if I make the highlighter and the smoke darker, it won't be as bad. I 
<laughs> Let's add some purple in it because I like adding purple to the Aurora Boy Leal. Oh, it's too much, too much purple. I need to remember to be dark. Mm, might be too much. Nope, that's okay. Alright. We got our colors. Green's looking pretty good. I would not have thought to do dark colors. I do like, this is the benefit of being able to look at other people's sketches. <laughs> is that I can see what they did. I'm gonna have the snow effect, so I'm actually not gonna do that. That is what they use. They use the waveform to do in the sky. I think it looked nice on theirs, but I'm not a terrible fan of it right now. I might use the streamers. I like the streamer brush. <laughs> lot. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, let me think about it. It is handy to learn from others. It's generally what art is. I don't think I like the streamers. Take this out. Want a little bit of dimension. Maybe I'll add the neon pulse but darker. It is pretty dark. Maybe I will add, I want a little movement in there as what I'm trying to accomplish. It's like baby fireworks. They are like baby fireworks. Well, the dots don't move. They add a little bit. They just add a little bit. It's a little bit more there. That's not bad. I do like that. Maybe my neon pulse is too light. Maybe it's not light enough. Uh, it's not. It's not light enough. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna. Add, I'm gonna add a little smoke in it. Actually, Let's see if that helps add some movement. Really dark smoke. Just a little bit. I'm gonna do it with the purple too. All right there. It is coming to go real nice. Do enjoy it. Let's see. Let me add. Make the embers real dark. Yeah, the embers in the sky do a lot. In moderation, they do. They help. Mostly because I think because I added the other dots to the similar shape language happening in the sky. There we go. Gives an illusion. And then let's add some snow. Because we need the snow. It's too much snow. There we go. There's all the snow. You know what I want to do? Since we still got about 40 minutes, I have another idea. 
I'm gonna put it in a snow globe. <laughs> Let's put it in a snow globe. Because it already looks like it's in a snow globe. So <laughs> we're just gonna expand it just a little bit. Just a bit. See, the base is gonna be. What are we gonna do? I need this guy. Need. Uh, I can't make a cylinder out of this. I remember having this fight. It's not useful. Things I would add to open source tilt push. I would add a cylinder guide. I would add the ability to paint on materials. I would add the ability to create layers. This is my toe push wish list. Maybe I should become a technical artist. All right, let's see, that's fine. Let me get a little darker. I lied, a little, a lot a bit darker. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I should maybe do it be a tech. This is how this will be my introduction to technical art. I was trying to make Tilt Push a better art program because I'm unsatisfied with certain things. And then <laughs> this is typically the interest of my creative drive is that I'm unsatisfied with the things. I'm like, I can, I can, I got an idea. I can fix it. It's the whole driving, drive, like, re rhyming reasoning behind the game I'm making right now. Alright, hold on. We're gonna do this tastefully. I gotta figure out how to make the glass. I gotta make the illusion of glass. This is gonna be the really hard part right here. Maybe if we do the soft brush with really dark blue. I'm talking real big. Dark blue. Now I need a guide for it. Hold on, let me get the guide. Let me get the spear. Let me make a real big. Real big spear. Make sure it encapsulates it all. There we go. Okay. Oh, what? oh my god. There's a chair over there. I need to walk over here. There we go. That's too bright. Hold on. Too many strokes. No, there is no transparency. You know what I also add? I would add transparency. Because Sculptor VR has transparency. And it's really good. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. I take off the guide. You go in and you're like, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's expand. Let's expand all the snow in here and really just add a lot of snow. A lot of snow down here. Whole bunch of snow. And we're gonna add some little hills back here. I'm okay with it going outside the edge a little bit because I'm thinking it's not going to be that exact. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care that much. All right, let's add some detail. Nope, that's not what I wanted to select. I would like this, please. Thank you. No. Splatter, splatter. Did you get big? 
There we go. A little bit of detail. There we go. A little bit of this. But darker. But darker. <laughs> even even darker. There we go. A little bit darker on the edge. Uh, I can put more snow in here. Put more up here. There we go. Well, we made it. We made a snow globe. You think my app would be good? Thank you. I think it would be good too. I need to remember to make it. <laughs> I gotta. I'm gonna. Do what am I? This might be my next endeavor. I'm gonna delete a little bit from over here. A little bit from, oh, that's not what I meant to delete. But that's gonna happen. Okay. I know I deleted just most of it, but I didn't like it, so I'm gonna redo it. Let's try this again. There we go. Now let's go back and make it darker. I wonder what language. That's so bright and snowy. I wonder what language uh, Silkbush is written in. I'm not, I'm not a very good coder. There we go, that looks like glass. That's pretty, it's pretty good. There we go, go back in. I was very bright in here. <laughs> it's so bright in here. Let's go with... Let's do it all around. All around Aurora Borealis. It's just everywhere. Let's see this. What do I want? No. Nope. I think I took the wrong color. Need this one, but I need it to be purple, so I gotta go back over here. There we go. And let's get some of our embers. Nope. Really difficult to grab colors. Oh my god, the snow's throwing me off balance. I cannot. I'm actually losing my balance. <laughs> let's get the dots. I'm cold now, too. <laughs> The psychology, psychological. <laughs> well, that's not what color I want. There we go, and then I need the dots. And then a little bit of smoke. Uh, I probably could have saved this color for myself, but I didn't do it. I just didn't do it and I suffer for it. Alright, let's get the embers. Uh, embers over here. And then we're gonna get some more purple. And also to get those. There we go. Don't fall over. Yeah, no. Add some dark purple. Let me add some dark purple. Let me get some dark purple. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it on the highlighter, maybe. Oh my god, okay, here we go. Where are we? Hello, how you doing? Where'd my fire pit go? Well, there it is. I think I moved the snow somehow. I think this is, I painted over the snow. Hold on. <laughs> this, what is this? I did, I painted it over. Too much snow. Too much snow. All right, let's try this again. There we go. I don't want that to be seen. There we go. Where'd my guide go? No, the wood got burned. <laughs> this is true. I swear, this guy keeps moving. Convinced it keeps moving. Alright, <laughs> flush it out again. Wait, wait. There we go. Well, I moved it, so that's fine. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna redo the base now. Let's see what's a good thing. Figure this out. Uh Well, that's cute. Let me move some stuff around. Mostly on uh, the outside. <laughs> oh god. Where is it? Nope. <laughs> I cannot see when I'm moving. Nope. Move it down a bit. I'm trying to put it in the center. I <laughs> just want to center the glass. Maybe we'll make it smaller. Okay, is that center? That's pretty. Nope. It's not pretty okay. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty centered. That's pretty good, okay. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, it looks great. You're like, oh, it's a snow globe! And then you go in and you're like, oh! And then you're like in a winter wonderland! It's pretty neat. What do we got? Well, <laughs> it's still, you still got 20 minutes. What can we do for 20 minutes? Let's see, let me save that. I'll start, I'm gonna start taking some pictures just because I don't know what else to draw right now, so I'm gonna take some photos. There we go. It looks real good. Look at this fish. Look at these fish! We got some fish in the boom the snow meteor is hanging out. Guys are having a good time. Boop. 
Maybe someone holding or looking at the snow globe. Much better than the snow we got last night. I can't draw a person. <laughs> I'm not confident in my ability to draw a person. Let me see. Oh, uh, I have a meta idea. I have an idea. Hold on while I try to get the brush I want. There it is. I have an idea. I have a better idea that's developed in my head. Hold on. See if you follow along as I do stuff. And the leopard, it's a it's an Arctic fox. Here's that. You gotta get. <laughs> Mr. Arctic, it's okay. Mr. Arctic Fox forgives you. It's fine. It's a very forgiving Arctic Fox. And then what I'm gonna do now... Is that guide in there? This is just a guide in there. Let's see if this is gonna work. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm still selecting stuff in here. <laughs> Selecting all the furs. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't make it smaller. <laughs> it's too big. So you do it. Thank you. I'm so glad to see what I'm doing. It's just endless. <laughs> Let's see. That's a pretty big snow globe. I can't make it smaller though. Let me, uh, let me group that. I lied, I can make it smaller. That's as small as I can make it. I think. <laughs> let me just, uh, to duplicate that. <laughs> I can't make it physically smaller. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> take this. 
<laughs> Draw another one. Oh, it's so. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> the take. I don't know, this one? This one. South Highland, there we go. Oh, God. I want to. There we go. <laughs> it's an endless cycle. It is. <laughs> it reminds me. Oh my god. It reminds me of this book my teacher showed me one time. My professor. And it was like literally you started on a page. And then like the next page you'd zoom out and see where you were in the, and see like, for example, like you were in like a house. And then the next page would zoom out and you'd be like a house inside of a magazine. And then the next page would zoom out and you'd be like, you actually like a house inside of a magazine on like a billboard. And then you'd zoom out again and you're in a house on a magazine, on a billboard, on a bus. And then you do it again, and you'd be like, in a house, on a magazine, on a billboard, or on a bus, on a billboard. <laughs> no, on a billboard, on a bus, that's on a, like, some other magazine. It just, like, kept going. It was really funny. And I was always trying to figure out how to stimulate that. Your nose cannot be, I think I moved this. You gotta, you can't be, you can't be inside of the snow glue. Let me select everything here. Can't be in the snow globe. You gotta be outside the snow globe. This needs to be down more. There we go. Just put, uh, fix that over there. There we go. <laughs> It was a really neat book. There we go. Okay, now I'm satisfied. Well, now it's 7.43. So <laughs> I'm desperately trying to kill time. <laughs> I'm gonna take more pictures of this development. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Well, I can't set up a camera path. I could set up a camera path for a bit. No, no, wait, got to add the snow. Come here. No. I can only go so high. Hi. There we go. Hi. Hi. There we go. Ah. <laughs> that was all my snow. Okay. Add some more things over here, probably. Let me take that. Oh, that. There we go. I need to move around this monster. Oh, I got, I got the cord wrapped around my leg. I'm good. All right, now I can take some photos. Uh, I think I want you to be over more for the picture. And group that selection. Well, I took some snow with him. That's okay. Nope. Need some more over here. There we go. Now it looks endless. All right, we got that. Here we go. It's a photo. Oh, forgot his ears. I left his ears behind. There we go. It falls at a much smaller rate when the when the snow is larger compared to like if I go in here, it's falling a lot quicker. Let's 
There we go. And then take a picture here. Is this? There we go. Then <laughs> you get smaller, the smoke also likes to move more too. <laughs> Look at that smoke go! Get the meta, there we go. I can't get the triple meta, but that would be neat. Hold on, let me see. No, I need him to be like over there. I wanna, I wanna, I'm having fun while Bumble's just soaked in the snow. Yeah, they're having a good time. And then like, we have the meta fox over here. I'm going to move this fox. See, if I want to get all of them, then I can move this one a little bit. I want to get like all all the foxes in one. I'd have to move this one. I have to move him. So that they're behind one another. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh, I lost the other snow globe. Maybe if I do it from here, and I rotate this. You can see the second fox, but you won't be able to see that one. This might imply it enough. You got this fox and that fox, and this fox looking at the snow globe, and you're like, mm, I don't know about this. I'm not so sure about this. I'm gonna set up a camera path now, really quickly. Where's my camera path, there we go. I'm gonna start out here. Go over here. And we're gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I wonder if I can get small. I can't get smaller though. Let's see. A direction point, point down here. There we go. There we go. I need to connect with that other panel go. Connect this. I 
Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna delete these points. Oh, select this one, please. Thank you. Delete these. Okay, that's points over here. to the fire and then we're gonna zoom in on this last little snow globe all right let me see that's too slow attention to it in a minute. I want this to go faster. Let me select it. Oh my god. so hard to select stuff with this. Like, I don't know what the box is. It's just gonna look cool. I have a few other videos that I just straight forgot to put on my Instagram. <laughs> Let me select it! Okay, get back here. Where'd the video go? It's over here. Too fast. Oh, now you let me select you. Well, it's fine. Too fast. I'm going too fast. Let's add a zoo. No, not a direction. Zoom point. Okay. Let's see. Why did you jitter so much right there? Oh, I have two of these. Can I delete that one? There we go. Let's add a direction to go over here. There we go. Oh. We gotta jump on Can I move this point? Why can't I add points, but I can't move points? Oh, okay, that's how I can add point, move points. Okay, hold on, let's try this. We add another. I'm gonna just play it so I can get down here. Got two here.
Let me just move it. This one I want to move up a bit. There we go. God, I wish I could just... It's not the most intuitive of things to work with. Please delete this. Please delete that one. Please just delete it! No. It's also a really cool feature, and usually I don't have this much problem with it. But I don't want this. How do I get rid of it? I don't know what I did. Where am I? Why am I over here? Oh, okay. I'm just going to deal with it. Where's my thing? Oh, it's over here. There we go. Let me see. Let me just... can't see anymore. Index, are you good? <laughs> you oh no. <laughs> oh no, my screen blacked out. Maybe... Maybe something with this? Well, you know, the audio is still working, which is good to know. Um, okay, well, this is going to be a little difficult. I'm going to try to use, <laughs> I'm going to try to use the monitor to uh, save <laughs> before I can, so I can at least, hold on, I can't see, oh, wait, save sketch, save, save sketch, great, can't see it easy, all right, well, <laughs> um, well, I would finish the path, but like y the index just, uh, index went black. I thought the power went out for a second. <laughs> they got, and I guess not. The lights are still on. Well, well, it's eight o'clock anyway, and I don't really know what's wrong with it. If I unplug this, is this going to do anything bad?
Well, I just realized that you guys didn't have my mic on. That my mic broke when I reset that. So I'm going to give my outro again.
<laughs> I didn't realize you guys couldn't hear me as I was talking. Oh, that's my bad. Well, anyway, we finished the path, so, uh, uh, and then it's now, well, it's now it's 8.06, so I'm gonna, I gotta call it a night for tonight, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little, our little creation this week as, as much as I did. It turned out really well and very unique. I've always wanted to do a multi-scale drawing and tilt brush like this, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for some VR games. But in the meantime, you guys have a good, have a lovely Thursday evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. No, I wasn't being real quiet. <laughs> I was just talking, and my mic broke. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a lovely for Thursday evening. Bye-bye! <laughs> no, actually, bye-bye. <laughs>